In the last video, I showed you how to create a table using the command line. The table we created was called student and it had ID, first name, last name, age, and GPA. This time, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it a little more easily. I'm going to write using Notepad the same text that I used to create the table last time and save it in a file called student.sql. Now, if you're using Mac OS X, open your favorite editor on OS X and do the same thing. One difference from last time is the first line, drop table if exists student. The reason I use this line is, if the student table already exists in your database and you try to add it again, you're going to get an error. So what this first line does is deletes the table so I can rewrite it. So let's make sure that our, our student.sql file is here, and it certainly is. Here it is, student.sql. So now, how do I upload this file into, our, into my database? I type mysql-u, uh, your username, dash p, just as though, as though we were going to log in. But the difference now is I give another argument, dash capital D, and the name of the database that I'm going to save my table to. And then I use the indirection operator and I give the name of my SQL file. This is the text file that holds all of my SQL commands. Enter, give my password, and it looks as though everything went okay. So let me log into my SQL database. Change my database to my test DB. Show tables. And here's my student table. Let me describe that table. Actually, first, let's see if there's anything in it. If this is a brand new table, it should be empty. So select everything. Remember the asterisk is the wild card. It means any match. Select any match from student. There's nothing there. So now I will describe the contents of student. And here we have the field type, null, key, default, extra, just like last time, with five columns, ID, first name, last name, age, and GPA. So let's add a student to our database. I do that using the insert command. Insert into student the values. I will give the ID, the first ID, student ID will be one. And the student's first name perhaps will be Michelle. Smith. Notice by the way, that the values are surrounded by quotes and the values are separated by commas from each other. So let's say Michelle is 18 and her GPA is, since she's just starting as a freshman, her GPA is 0.00. All right, query OK, one row affected, that's great. So let's add another student. Maybe this student is 19 and this guy will be perhaps Peter Jones. Ah, and there's a problem. And the problem is, is that I have the primary key at, for, for Michelle as one, and for Peter it's also one. But I set this to auto increment, so now, instead of giving explicit values for the, for the primary key, I can just say null. And now, uh, I have Michelle Smith, and I have Peter Jones. And look, the auto increment worked. Peter Jones' student ID is now 2, even though I didn't explicitly say that. So let's add a couple more students. Let's add Kevin... 
Murphy, who's also 19. And let's add a a Larry Krauss. And suppose Larry is 21. Now let's give him a well. Let's give let's say he's a little bit older, so maybe he's a junior or senior. Let's say his GPA is 3.8. Now, here are our students, Michelle, Peter, Kevin, and Larry. So this is how you add uh, rows to your table. Now, suppose I needed to change Kevin Murphy's GPA, and for whatever reason, he ended up with a 0, 0.00. So how do I update the, the, the Kevin's uh, GPA? I do update the table set GPA equal to and let's say Kevin's also a pretty good student 3.65 where and this is where the primary key comes into play now uh, Kevin's primary key his his ID is 3 so I set where ID is equal to 3 looks like everything worked okay ah and so now we've changed Kevin's GPA and let's say let's change Peter's GPA to maybe 3.18 oops here we go 3.18 now suppose for whatever reason Kevin Murphy decides he has to drop out and so we're going to remove him from the database. How would we remove him? Delete from student where ID equals 3. Aha, uh -huh. query OK. And Kevin Murphy is now gone from the database. So, in summary, this is a quick and simple way. I've shown you a quick, quick and simple way to add a table to your database to add some rows to that table, to make updates to that table, and to remove rows from that table if necessary. Alright, thanks a lot.